Welcome. Today we will be disassembling a Dell Inspiron 15-7000 series laptop. This particular model is a uh, Inspiron 15-7567. Okay, so let's first remove the bottom cover. Uh, for this job, you're going to need a 2 and 2.5 uh, Phillips head and a T8 Torx. So just loosen that screw until it starts clicking. And just go along the edge there until the little snaps pop up and then you can pull the cover off. Alright, so now we will unplug and remove the battery. Need fingernails for this. best to just use your fingernails if possible and just work that connector up out of there. So after you loosen and remove the five T8 screws, just grab a little piece of tape and then pull up on the battery. All right, next we can do the memory. So just gently spread the little arms until the memory stick pops up, pull it straight out and repeat for the other memory stick. Then we will do the SSD drive. So pull it straight out of the connector. Okay, next we will do the hard drive. So you're gonna pull up on the connector here until it pops up. Pull the ribbon free. Next, you'll take these 2.5 millimeter Phillips and remove them. be able to remove the hard drive. Looks like there's just two screws on each side for the hard drive and then you have the, the SATA connector which will pull just straight off the hard drive. All right next we will do the Wi-Fi card. gently on the antennas to pop them off. 
can go ahead and just free that cable. And just pull it straight out of the connector. In this step we will also, since we'll be removing the motherboard, you want to go ahead and free the uh, pram battery. And it's usually just held on by some kind of sticky tape. Like that. Okay, next we will remove the far back cover. This step can be a little tricky. Um, the back cover goes around to the top of the laptop above the palm rest. So, turn the laptop up on its side. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So just hold pressure on the bottom part, um, the part that's underneath the laptop, and then you want to get a, a nice sharp tool in there and pull up to separate the snaps along this section right here. See, there's a little gap there. So this side is pretty much popped off and then you're gonna go along and flip it to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so you wanna go along and work those bottom snaps out. Okay, so we have it loose from the other side. And then we can go ahead and work it out from this side. All right, now we will go ahead and uh, remove the display cable retainer bracket. And then for the connector, grab the little ribbon loop and then pull straight up. All right, now we'll be removing the rest of the 2.5 millimeter screws that are um, present in the um, bottom case here that are holding on the palm rest assembly um, and then just leave those two that are holding the heat sink onto the motherboard.
also going to leave these screws that are holding the touchpad assembly um, to the palm rest. So I'll just give it a final check, make sure that you didn't miss any screws. Looking pretty good. And then we can just uh, flip it over and release the palm rest. That yeah, looks like I uh, missed one screw here. Okay, then we're gonna disconnect the palm rest ribbons. So just flick those little connectors up with your fingernail and pull them free from the motherboard. All right, next we're gonna pop off the palm rest. So just start at one of the ends with a flat tool and just go around the perimeter. Pop those little snaps up. Fold the display all the way out and then raise up the palm rest and pull it out like that. You have to kind of tilt up on it to let this uh, kind of scooped area clear the display. And we have one more ribbon. Flip up on the uh, little gate there and remove the ribbon. And you have freed the palm rest. All right, and before we remove the display, I'll just give it a second look underneath and make sure I have all the connectors pulled. Looks like there's one more. one is just a pull straight up type connector. I'm going to go ahead and free it from the tape. So it looks like we have all of the display cables free. So we're going to go ahead and remove the hinges. So we'll go ahead and start with the rear. Laptop over. And then remove the other two. And you want to go ahead and kind of hold on to the display so it doesn't just flop over. wiggle it a little bit and display is free all right next we will be removing the in out board and the DC jack so 
I'm going to remove the two screws. I'm going to flip up the little retainer, pull the ribbon, and then free the now board. And then we'll go ahead and uh, remove the connectors, for the cooling fans, and whatever else is attached to the motherboard. and then remove these screws holding in the cooling fans. Alright, looks like we have uh, another connector over here for the speakers. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And then just go ahead and flip it and make sure that the pram battery is still free. So you don't want to tug in on the connector when you're trying to remove the motherboard. So that looks good. Now you can remove these screws retaining the motherboard. Just wiggle it gently to get the USB connectors out of the case. And then now you have your motherboard. Then we can go ahead and release that DC jack as well. All right, for the screen, we're gonna be working our way around the perimeter of the bezel assembly to remove the uh, assembly that's held on by little snaps.
Yeah, have the bezel assembly released. So you just have to be slow and methodical and just kind of, you know, do them one at a time. You don't want to really pull on it too hard because it is thin plastic, but you just take your time working your way around, kind of bending the bezel out as you pull. Um, and that way you can just gently remove it. All right, now with the 2.5 Phillips, we're gonna go ahead and remove the LED assembly. Just free the display cable first so you don't have to fight with it. Want to get these screws loose. Should be able to lift up on the screen and move it aside. Next, we just have the hinges. It looks like there are four 2.5 Phillips heads for each one. Now we'll be removing the webcam, which is just held in place by some adhesive. Trying to gently kind of tilt it up from the front side. You don't want to really lift from one end because then you have a good chance of damaging it. So once you have that free, just feed out the cable from the little retainers. and you have your webcam. And so for this uh, back cover assembly, we're just gonna go ahead and leave the Wi-Fi antennas, antennas intact. Um, otherwise, the removal is just like the webcam. You just unstick them and then feed the connector through the little retainers. All right, so that's how you disassemble a Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series laptop. And if you liked the video or it helped you out, please like and subscribe. Thank you.